Hi, I'm Stephanie and this is my home, the 16th century Chateau de Lalande. Lalande was owned for hundreds of years by a family of marquises who were at the heart of French royal life. One of them even had the honour of being sent by King Louis XV to greet Marie Antoinette on her arrival in France. But, far from being a stuffy museum, this chateau is a living home. I live here all the time and I'm regularly joined by my mother, my family, my friends and wonderful volunteers from all over the world who help me to lovingly restore this historic home. Welcome to La Lande, a chateau filled with life, love and laughter. Today is a really exciting day at La Lande because Sean Vendetta, who made the beautiful medieval costumes for us before, has agreed to come back because we are planning our costumes for a Bridgerton party, which will be our Easter party this year. So I suspect it might be a small party because of COVID, but we're still going to be dressing up and going ahead with it. So I have to run downstairs to see Sean and there's going to be a dress fitting. We also have to look for lovely fabrics that we could use for the finished dress. Good morning, Sean. Good morning. <laughs> so, <to be> here. <laughs> <laughs> I am so, so excited about this. I've been trying to look at all photographs and stuff of um, Regency period. Yes. As well as Bridgerton dresses. Great. Just to get ideas. Um, yeah, I think I've got a good one. And r French royalty as well. Ooh, I like this mixture. So, hopefully. that sounds pretty perfect. <laughs> and then we can do the men as well. I am so excited <laughs> because like we're used to having women's dress up things here, but okay. to see the guys like dressed up like that would be amazing. Yeah, I'm really excited. It's going to feel like I will be in one of those period dramas. Yeah, yeah, that's probably your dream. Yes. Starring in a period drama. <laughs> Philip Janssen at the Chateau de La Lande. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Bridgerton meets La Lande. <laughs> well, fair enough. <laughs> Uh, shall we go up to the Chambre Rose and try on some things up there? Because I've set up a little um, temporary sewing studio. Oh, we have a little boudoir, <laughs> right? Yes. Let's go to the sewing boudoir. Let's go. Oh, Sean, this is heaven. Oh, to walk in here and see the sewing <laughs> machine and the dressmaker's dummy. And I love this dress. And this is just a fabric that you had. Yes, it was just, uh, I bought quite a lot of it. And uh, it's actually too thin for... A lot of things, but for a sample, it, I thought it was perfect. Oh, I think it's perfect. It's exactly the same colourways as in Bridgerton as well. <laughs> it's so perfect. I love it. So on this one, I've just put elastic here just for the sample, uh, but we'll put a cuff, a cuff yes. there once we've got it measured properly. And then on the back of this one, I've put gathers here. Oh, it's um, beautiful. On Natty's, I've just done it. Straight. Straight. So you can have an option of which one you yeah, prefer. Yeah, see what looks best. Yeah. yeah. Um, there we go. But the one thing I was noticing on all the dresses is that the this is very narrow, so we need yes. to get that. Exactly it's right. It's a real yeah. um, statement of the dresses, is to have a very narrow bodice. I'm so looking forward to trying it on. <laughs> oh! Whoa, okay. Outside the window, you can see huge changes to the trees in the dry moat. And I will just, as I'm trying on the dress with Sean, go back in time and show you Dan and Brian starting work on the dry moat. And you can see the difference here. And then later this afternoon, we'll go down and chat to them and look at the difference up close. That's amazing. Look how it's opened up the garden. I can hear the wonderful sound of a chainsaw. And I think that there is clearing going on in the dry moat. Let's go and see if Dan's down there. Hi, Dan. Hello. Oh my goodness, I can't believe how much you've done. Hi. This is Brian. Dan, you're not alone. <laughs> once. Hi, Brian. Hi, how are you? Really good, and you? Good, good. It's pretty warm down here. Well, do you know, this is the first time I've properly seen the walls of the dry moat. This is crazy what you've done. You're looking pretty pleased, Dan. <laughs> yeah, it's a big difference. It's huge. Time, isn't it? Absolutely huge difference. So wow. Got, uh, I come in with the chipper on Wednesday and Thursday. Yeah. He's going to operate it as well. Okay. So he's, that's why we're piling all that 
So there's some that are a bit too big for us to do. Yeah. Um, so we'll have to leave them. Okay. And then David wanted some of the big ones left anyway. So if you leave everything that's too big and then he can decide what we keep and yeah. what we get a specialist to remove. Yeah. I mean, there's not many. There's only maybe about five, I'd say. Okay. Yeah, some of these are absolute beer moths and they're covered in mistletoe. This is really exciting. Mummy's not going to believe it when she sees this. No. So you two are here all week? Yep. All week. Amazing. Well, the whole moat's going to be cleared. That's yeah. the plan, yeah. Lovely. Fantastic. Thank you. All right. See you later. See you later. <laughs> I mean, look at everything they've taken out already. So much. The chipper's going to be working overtime. Hello. 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 Natty, what do you think? Like a princess. I love her so Not much. before, eh? Not just only now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so beautiful. I really love it. I love the colours. I love the colours. <laughs> I love the fabric. You know what? I'm going to be just wear these. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see it on you. Yeah. We should okay, probably both saying. put them on at the same time. Uh, for... Don't try yours. Yeah, sure. Yes. Yes. Come on, Natty. <laughs> Matched with yeah, the, well, we've done that on purpose, you see. We've uh, <laughs> the mask. matching with our masks. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bridgerton <It's> sisters. <laughs> we need is afternoon tea with scones. Yeah, hey, totally. Champagne. You are having a bit of a Lady Di moment there. Yeah. The light. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going for historical accuracy, right? It's no. like, okay. And Bridgerton don't go no, 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 for historical accuracy either. This feels so special. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, great I to have I a go at a different, a different style. Yeah, a different era. Absolutely. Are you enjoying it? I am loving it. <laughs> <laughs> it was Michael Potts's idea. It was a it? great yeah. yeah. Michael Potts said we must do Bridgerton for Easter. And we didn't want to do it by halves, so Sean was the only option. <laughs> 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 the the neckline is actually very open yes so it would come straight across and almost to the side there i think i would like that yeah. keep this band as narrow as possible mm -hmm. little bit of cleavage like josephine yeah. and a big square opening yeah but hers also has these amazing upright i love them ruffled i know lace. but how is that done is that even possible i have no idea let it go Really? I'm, I'm thinking. I love it. Because <laughs> um, then it just frames that, oh, it does. that square. Yeah, even it's more. such a dramatic. Mm. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that would be. So, we'll have a go at that. So, oh, that will yes. really. But also, the lace does continue along the front in a sort of a uh, more of a ruffled effect rather than okay. standing out. So, that's something else to bear in mind that. So, we can go actually really low. Because the go lace quite is going low, to make the lace it more demure. Would definitely raise it up a little bit more. So. Okay. We could probably go lower. I think let's go for drama. Let's go for <laughs> full on drama. <laughs> Excellent. But don't you wish we could just keep these? Because honestly, I just love us. These are your ones. And we're so lovely as well. Because oh, <laughs> yes. Marie doesn't want to have a dress done in this style. But I think it's such a shame. Mm. I think she should have one. Me just, too. Just, I think just so. For the, just for the day. Can I just arrange for money. her to have one anyway? and I'll deal with it, and then we'll just force her into it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Are you starting to think about your costume, Philip? Yes. Ideas? So I've got see. way so too many ideas. Do you think, so you'd be looking at that sort of... Yeah, yeah, that's nice and small. I think that's good. I think that is good. So this is the smooth back. You've made two versions. And then this is the, the gathered back. Because of course, the, Natty's. The oh, is that why you had yeah. okay. a. Can I just pass it to yeah. the front? Oh, oh this is some pins. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, because I chose a design which was all about the collar, and you chose a design with this yeah. added over yeah. skirt. Oh, yeah, that's so beautiful. You're beautiful. Yeah, we love it. No. Before we go and look for the fabrics, Natty has something to show us. Yeah, this is a gift from Sean. Sean, you're so kind. It's so nice. I, I love it. Look at that. Too late. And it's got, it's, it's got a hood. Oh, look at the yes. inside of the hood. Nice. Oh. Amazing. I love it. I it's love exquisite. It. 
It is fantastic. Do we get to see you in it? Yes, I will try it on <laughs> right now. <laughs> this is so much fun. You did drawings. Uh, yeah, this is exactly what I had in mind. That's beautiful. Yes, with this lifted collar. Mm. And you have the original photo so that I, I found. Yes. Yeah, Josephine. Yes. Yeah, she so knew what she these, was doing. They're impressive. Very yeah. impressive. It's all about the collar. And the jewels. Yes. I think that's not Josephine. I think that must be Napoleon's second wife. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. She's clearly copying the first one. There she is, isn't she? Look at that. Oh, Natty. <laughs> Natty. I love it. Yeah. It's really nice. I love this like, It is wonderful. I want to dress like this the entire year now, you know? Can we see it with the hood up? I, uh, yes, of course. <laughs> no, that's excellent. What are you? It's exactly the look we were going for. <laughs> You're stunning. Yeah? Yeah, I love the colour. And the sleeves. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. So it's beautiful. The sleeves. Nice, no, it's perfect. Does Thank it you so okay? much. Yeah, it feels perfect. Yeah. And with your hair, it just looks meant to be. <laughs> Such a beautiful gift. Are these the ones that uh, Natty had chosen? They are. And we have decided to aim around this one. Yes. Yes, beautiful. They're such elegant shapes. They are. And I love your drawings for them. Those are Natty's. It is. Yeah, I can see her in that. And she wants quite a dramatic fabric, doesn't Can't she? She does, yes. Something yes, maybe red or... Vibrant, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and actually, if you look at any of the, the Bridgerton photos, I mean, the colours they've used mm. are very vibrant. And how about this for a fantastic collar? Oh yeah, nice. so Philip, you're gonna come talk men's menswear with us. So we were asked to send uh, a picture. Yeah, things you liked. I sent nine. <laughs> of course you did. So this is what you've come up with so far. What do you think of these, Philip? I really like them. Are you gonna try something on? Sure. Oh yes. I'm quite excited to see it in the finished fabrics. <laughs> This is very exciting. The thought of all the men wandering around La Lanne dressed as they were in Bridgerton. It's all my Christmases come at once. <laughs> Easter. <laughs> <From there. laughs> Why don't men wear jackets that shape anymore? So flattering. Yeah. Let me just take oh, this out. I love these seams. That looks so good. That curve on the back. And so there'll be the opening there. Yes. And there are two inverted pleats on each side. Yes. Which we were discussing could actually have a different colour fabric. Oh. So that as you're moving, <laughs> you get a little flash of Oh yeah, I like that. Colour. There's also, uh, whether we put a real pocket in or, or not, but there'll okay. be a pocket flap on each side. That's very elegant. Um, we've opened this up only to allow for more shoulder. Yeah. Shoulder width there. I think we need more poof here. Mm. Oh, I haven't really seen the sleeve because that's been um, around the other side for me the whole time. I like the sleeve. To add, I really like the leg. So that will add yeah. a different type of shaping. Mm -hmm. But this, I think, is oh, it's so elegant. It looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, with just a little ring peeking out underneath. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that looks perfect. That does look really good. I mean, there's a reason why I did my hair in ponytail. Yeah. <laughs> Wrong period, but still. We're not going for a sort of like cruise. Absolutely not, we're going for fun. Let's have fun with this. That fitting was such good fun. And whilst Sean and Philip are getting on with his fitting, I'm coming down to see how the men have done in the dry moat. And oh my goodness, the difference is unbelievable. This used to be a wall of trees. So it looked as though the garden ended here. But in fact, you can see it carries on into what is currently empty, but it's the fishery that hopefully one day will be a pond again. So the garden feels so much bigger now. I can't believe it. They've taken nearly everything down. Hello. It is amazing. I cannot it's believe. So it? Wow. What a difference. Well, I would say a week, but it's been like three days. It's insane. Fourth day today, yeah. Fourth day today. Oh my. 
Imagine how beautiful it's going to look once we've landscaped on the other side. We've got a bridge going all the way across. It's nice, the view from the chateau now is just so long, isn't it? Yeah, and I, get, I bet the view of the chateau has transformed. I'm going to go around and have a look. Yeah. In fact, I'll come around. I'll see you over there. I know that you're not really used to seeing the view from this side of the chateau, but uh, trust me, it is transformed. It was a wall of trees where now there's just a few huge trees left and you couldn't see beyond at all. But now I'm going to go around to the other side and show you how different the view of the chateau is. Because we have no bridge over the moat yet, we are going to have to walk out of the property onto the road and all the way around. But in the future, we'll have a bridge. It is such a beautiful, beautiful day. We're having the most perfect February. I'll go and see the men in a sec, but I'll leave them working now because I'm really curious to walk around onto the road to see what's happened to the view of the chateau. Wow, you could never see this facade from the road before. And I always felt that was a real shame for the people who live in this commune because this is the chateau of their commune. This is historically the most important view of it. It's the ancient wing. It's 15th or 16th century. And finally, it is visible because I really feel that these buildings are not just to be wrapped up and kept private, but they're for everyone to enjoy. It's 10 million times better than I thought it would be. It's bizarre being able to see it, doesn't it? I know, we could never see it before from here. What do you think? I like it. I like it a lot. I really do. In fact, that tree that's blocking the view right in the I'm middle is now one. bugging yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And that's the one you say is hollow, isn't it? Yeah. So you think that one's got to go anyway? Yeah, I would have thought so, yeah. That would be good. And then leave the others for height and structure mm -hmm. on either side. Oh, well, I can just about see up in the window Chambre Rose movement in there because Philip and Sean are trying on clothes. Because whilst you're clearing out here, it's Bridgerton in there. I know. I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather be out here. <laughs> so the guy with the chip is coming soon. Okay, to great. Clear up. That's going to be fun to see that starting. Yeah. And that'd be good because we you knew the chippings in the garden as well. So great. We've got to drop about four more and then we're going to get in the moat, just start chopping up and then see how far we get tomorrow. Okay, great. The trees have done enormous damage. We can see now as we're up close, see the wall that's just here and then it disappears and it all just collapses into a big mound in front of it. And then there's more wall over there in better condition. So I think a lot of our wall has been lost over the last hundred or so years. So a tree surgeon's coming next week. He's going to start all the trees around the chapel. Great. So he's coming for three days. I think he said it'd take five to complete it. So we're getting he's taking so the much most done. Dangerous ones, I know. <laughs> it's been a hive of activity this week. It's crazy. How have you found it, Brian? Um, yeah, I, I'm seeing, I'm hearing chainsaw noises in my sleep. I'm not surprised. <laughs> no, I'm definitely great. hearing chainsaw noises in my sleep in the morning because I actually am <laughs> yeah. hearing chainsaw noises. <laughs> it's been great to see it open up as we go though. Yeah, I can imagine. That must be quite satisfying. It is, yeah. So we have a couple of big ones now. We're kind of at the point where we're, we're looking at them going, oh, it'll be great when that one's gone because then it's local with that fish. Yeah. So, yeah, we can't wait to get these ones down. It must be amazing to be responsible for such a transformation. It's nice to be a part of something. I mean, that's, that's beautiful looking at it from here now, you know. Oh, someone from Bridgerton's just appeared. <laughs> How did the fitting go? Uh, very well. And Selma is now... Um... Oh, I'll go and film. Yeah. Have you seen this? It is amazing. This is the first time I've seen it and it's, yeah. It it's shock, isn't it? Great, yeah. I hardly recognise the place. Honestly, I can't believe how much two men have achieved in three days, three and a half days. It's yeah, amazing. We're good, aren't we? Yeah, um, you're machines. <laughs> See you later. There it goes down. Another tree is about to come down. Yes. Ah, well that one's caught in the tree opposite. Oops. I see you wedged a tree in a tree, Dan. That's, yes. that's what you're planning to do, yeah? Yeah. Wedged it right in there. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a new feature. <laughs> and what's your plan on this one? 
What are you trying to get that rope? Getting the rope around it just to put a bit of tension this way because because they're all kind of entangled. Yeah, to That's make sure it falls. Like that. That's why. Yeah. But Matt said he's going to come with a digger in about an hour and just push these last couple over. Oh, great. Well, I might pop back out to see that then. All right, see you later. Bye. Bye. Well, it is all happening today. Ian is coming to drop off everything that he needs to do the roof of the stables. I can't believe this. It's so exciting. There's work on every corner of the chateau simultaneously. Hello, hello, Ian. It's a lovely day. You've got a thick coat on. I know. I don't know. I thought it was going to be cold and it's really not cold. So you brought everything that we need? Yes. You're looking very dapper. I like your new facial hair I'm configuration. Even, I'm not quite so sure it'll be itchy. Like <laughs> Great. Well, this is fantastic. Yes, just waiting for the, uh, the lorry to arrive. Oh, so it's not just in the van? No, 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 no. No, it's rather larger than that. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, well, I've got to run up because Selma's in a clothing fitting for Bridgerton outfit for Easter. Oh, lovely. Yeah, so uh, a very niche La Lande thing. Yes. So I'm going to run up and look at that, then I'll come back down and see okay, you. So All right, make yourself a cup of coffee in the kitchen. Well, no. Bye. I'm going to take a shortcut through the tower staircase to get to Selmar's clothes fitting. This is an area that I haven't done anything with yet. So you can see quite a lot of decorating to do here one day. Now we're in the cupboard of the Chambre de la Tour. And here we are in the Chambre de la Tour. Bedding waiting to go onto the bed there. We just have to bring the new mattress down from upstairs. There is proof that I'm getting closer to Selma. Hello? Oh, wow. It's already nice. Huh? Right, right. It's already exciting at this stage. Yeah, I have a, it took a very uh, beautiful design. Ah, this is the one that you like. I like this coat very much. This is very uh, something different. Oh, that's gorgeous. Just that it's here, not over, because I want to wear it open. Yes. And that you also see the chalet and the shirt and yes. everything. So, yeah. I agree. Did you realize, Sean, that you were coming to a house with <laughs> such meticulous <laughs> men? <laughs> you know what you want. <laughs> We know what we want. <laughs> the women are just like, yes, great, I love it. <laughs> it's a great start to have a go at um, men's clothing. Yeah, which I've yeah. Not really done hardly any of. So this is, uh, yeah, this is great. Super exciting. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely. Well, honestly, it, it, can you look at me a second, Sam? I just, uh, yeah. I mean, honestly, already just seeing that collar curling down. <laughs> I want aubergine. Oh, and you've got the sleeve. You want aubergine? I love that yeah, colour. Yeah, I want the aubergine coat. Let's have a little bit of the sleeve. Black. It's superb. I love the length of the sleeves. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, it's really good. This is one of the most exciting things <laughs> we've ever done. <laughs> Thank you, Sean. Yeah, yeah, I'm very happy with this. <laughs> it's rather sad to see it coming off, actually. Oh, so I liked it on. Oh, Philip has his britches on. Ooh! They do bunch up a little at the front. Right, it looks a, a bit like camel toe. <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely a lot of ex excess fabric down there. Ow. Yeah. Are you saying that? The nicest possible. <laughs> What have I done? <laughs> if they were made like that, so you can ride a horse. Because if you go, oh yes, go like oh. this. Oh yeah, you're ready for horseback so riding. You have to walk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm allergic to horses, so that's not. But it's it's gonna have the flap here, so. Oh, it gets a flap on top of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. I didn't make that. What I've done actually, oh. I've just got these lines in just so you can see where the the yes. real flaps will be. So that'll be. Split open, it'll flap, flap down. Okay. And then underneath there is a, a um, two pieces that overlap with a button. Oh, yes. Something underneath. Oh. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, this is so then complex. Put the flap back up and then button it in place. That'll be quite cool, actually. It will be. Yeah. It will be. So sorry. And if anyone laughs at you, you tell them that you're ready to jump on a horse. <laughs> <laughs> So you're going to try and reduce some of the fabric? Absolutely. 
Okay, I really like the colour. I know this is just know, the 12, but it's such a good colour. I think it's because it's it's something that you wouldn't normally wear, right. to yeah. see, but it works. It looks it really great, yeah. really great. And with whatever you put up top, which is mm -hmm. going to be darker yeah. uh, uh, in some font, so the, you know, the contrast is, is mm -hmm. great. Well, speaking of which, shall we go look at fabrics? See what, yes. see what you like? Yes. Right, what are you thinking? So I was thinking this one. I do love that one. I think it's my favorite fabric we have. Well, it's... Yeah, it's sumptuous. And then behind it, yes, that flash of green. That uh, one? Yeah, because look how thin that fabric is. It's actually the curtains of the entrance hall, but I really <laughs> love it. It's so thin. I kind of like this. I know it's a little bit of a lurid green, but I thought it's quite floaty. Lovely. Yeah, you think mm -hmm. that could work? Yeah, yeah. And then Philip has found uh, something like that he'd like for the waistcoat. Wow. Yeah. That's my favorite fabric in the house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. That's lovely. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Now, what about Natty? Yeah. Yes. When I was picking up the fabrics, I yeah. noticed the curtain from the Grand Salon to the Winter Salon. Yeah. And I think that would look really good. All right, let's go have a look. Yes. I can't believe we're going to be poaching the curtains now. <laughs> <laughs> be it's like Scarlet O'Hara. Yeah. It's a really oh, pretty it's fabric. Beautiful. I think it's the same gold. We cannot take yeah, we do. all the part of the house to make a dress. We'd have to make another curtain. I mean, because that won't be staying as a curtain no. forever, but it will be staying as a curtain until this room We've gets panelled. Let's keep this for yeah. now, but I do agree that looks good. Do we not have any other goldy, creamy colours like that anywhere? I don't, find any. I don't recall. We could look in your fabric stash in the... Yeah, of course. Let's go have a look there. Cupboard. Gold. Yeah, the gold could yeah. work. Yeah. Oh, this oh, is the same fabric. Gold. This is the same fabric. Oh, my goodness. No. Oh. <laughs> okay, no, that is uncanny. No way. But wait. Oh, because I love yellow too. Yeah, I <laughs> love yellow. I did my shopping, thank you very much. You have done very well, excellent. <laughs> I'm not sure what are we going to choose with Sean, but uh, yeah. Great, you. take that all through and then let me know what you want. Mm -hmm. I'm having the most fun imaginable today and now I'm going to run out and see how Ian is getting on. I feel as though I can't keep up with events quickly enough. It's happening on every side of the chateau today. Ian? Hello, hello! Did the lorry come? No, still waiting. I haven't missed a lorry. No. It's, That's good. It's French lunchtime. Little so, bit snoozing somewhere. Which part are you going to tackle first? Well, it's not here. Okay. Work our way out, I think. It's so strange seeing Marie's things gone. Yes. Is, where is Marie? She is just across here. Um, in the up that little room. door. Yeah, I think I'm going to go and see how she's getting on. Do you want to come and have a look? Yeah, right. Let's see if she's in there. Lots of little plants on the stairs. We must be getting close. Marie? Oh, Amaryllis. I don't Where's think she's in here. Oh. Oh, she's well set up. Yes. Oh, it's beautiful. But wherever Marie goes, it's beautiful. She does, does have a gift. She's, she's saying she actually prefers this room now oh, and right. thinks she should have been here all along. <laughs> yeah, she wanted to come out. Well, she's got a lot of space and it's a lot lighter. It's more contained, isn't it? Yeah, really easier, nice. I think so. Okay, this is a sign. This is an absolute sign. It is the first time this year that I've seen Thor make his display. And as usual, he's just given me a bottom shot. Oh, come on, Thor. <laughs> okay, Ian, you say I'm going to try and sneak around the other side. Oh, nearly, nearly. Yes. Oh, Thor. Thor, you're beautiful. What a day. Spring is in the air. It is, isn't it? I've even taken my coat off. Yeah, it, that's it, that's it's it. Warm, it's spring, it's seen. happened. <laughs> we were just looking for you in the new studio, so I just saw it. Oh, but it's a bit untidy now. Oh, but it's really pretty. Aww. You've got the most stunning flowers. So I many. I do, I love it. I was just going though, because I need to work with them today. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we just missed you. Yes. <laughs> I just heard a huge crash from the dry moat. What on earth just happened? Matt's got the big digger in here. He must have just knocked over a tree. I just heard a huge crash, Dan. Was that that? Yeah. Whoa, that's one way of getting them down. 
Yes. Look at that. Bit easier that way. Not easier. <laughs> How's it going? Good. It's looking great. Yeah, pretty much all down that we're taking down now. Okay. So tomorrow we're just going to tidy all these up. Okay, amazing. I'll come back out tomorrow and see how you're getting on. Look at Matt doing a great job of clearing all of those branches. We're going to have a big bonfire over there. It's been the perfect day. So much fun. And we're going to end it with afternoon tea with Sean before she leaves. I love this socially distanced afternoon tea. <laughs> Sean, I cannot believe you made these. Yeah. Honey flapjacks. Oh, I love flapjacks. And I had a little rumour that you've also made scones. Yeah. Ah, oh, there's some cheese oh. scones as Yay. well. <laughs> okay, I love scones. But the presentation for the table. Yay! <laughs> They're delicious, I try. And I'm so peckish. Hmm. That's beautiful. You grab Marie. <laughs> I grabbed Marie in the flower studio. <laughs> oh, excellent. <laughs> because Ooh. you suggested that you give him that address. I know, I really want to get a dress for her. And then, yeah, she, she, she said she wouldn't probably wouldn't be wearing it again. That's why I showed her own reservations. Mm -hmm. So when I told her that you said you get it and then it could just be in the custom cabinet uh, right. for the house to, ha to have for a party or whatever. Uh, she was quite excited <gasps> Good. and uh, she actually chose the Bon Mama fabric. Mm -hmm. So how does it look? What's it oh, going to be like? It's going to be lovely. It's going to, the, the skirt is going to be in the plain green. Yes. And then the bodice will be in the Bon Mama. Oh, gorgeous. With, oh, sleeves. With, with sleeves. Not, we want, we're not going to do the puff sleeves. Yes. We're going to just do three, three quarter yeah. length sleeves. So elegant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. This is fantastic. Oh, the what the colours on her are perfect. Good. Flapjacks made by Sean with local honey, a cup of tea, dreams of a new dress, and work starting on pretty much every side of the chateau. It's a good day at La Lande. A huge thank you to all of our patrons at La Lande who are making this vlog possible, especially our Dauphin and Dauphine of La Lande, Yegel and Ether, Brandon and John, Michael, Dan Banda, Lauren Barnes, Vince Barone, Cecilia Begum, Denise Behrens, Jill Bidwell, Candice Blackburn, Candice Ned Borkowski, Clara Butcher, Paulina Calabro, Chloe Chalicani, Stephen Sarah Cole, Zoe Dorks, Cora Dennis, Zane Dixon, Jackie Ellison, Nicholas W. Fairfax, Tracy Ferrari, Caroline First, Abigail Grant, Fifi Greenberg, Brenda Harris, Delaine Holbrook, Kim Hasselhoff, David and Tong Henderson, Jacqueline Holmes, Patricia Hubler, Jimmy Kemp, Nadia Kennedy, Lisa Lafour, Dave and Summer Lalande, Morgan Lawley, Victoria Lapine, Janet Hoff Lombard, Marina, Frank Martin, Meredith, Robert Miller, Kathy Norrie, JC Award, Maureen Palmer, Frank Poposki and James Snow, Tamara Price, Armin Rahman, Tonya Renee, RJB, Bettina Rojek, Henny Ross, Mary Ryan, Elizabeth Scanlon, Sven Schreiber, Lisa Schultz, Jennifer Shanks, Patty Sue, who's Susan Stevens, and the Leaf House, Sarah Thornton, Colleen Troyer, Renee Valelli, Jessica Walker, Brandy Walton, Dora Watkins, Lucas Wallen, James Whalen, Christine Wilson, Winnie de la Cockapoo, Greg Wood, David Young, and Rodovico Zordonazzo. And thank you to all of you. Thank you.